My name is Jamie Look. I'm here with Paul. Um, we're on top of Pilots Monument in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories. We're just about to hike down the hill and take a look at Guta Ashuna's and Bob Cousy's studio, where they create beautiful carvings out of whalebone. Welcome to Bob and Guta Studio. So Guta, um, maybe you could tell me a little bit about your family and okay. how long art has been in your family? Um, long time. Mm. Uh, since even before I was born, mm -hmm. um, my grandma was doing art. Mm -hmm. She was drawing and my father was carving. And you have one of your sons here with you today? Yes, Joe yeah. is here. Okay. He's learning how to carve. Mm. And he's very good at it. What are you working on, Joe? I'm finishing up a polar bear and uh, just got a sand it. This is what we've been doing, Christmas ornaments. And this is something that you guys do every year? Yeah, that's what we do every year when we go, after we go bone hunting. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll show you this one. I made a couple of these. These are very popular. It's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that, eh? <laughs> so, Guta, maybe you could show us some of the tools that you work with and like how you go through the procedures of doing a carving. Sure, okay. First thing, I'll, I'll show you what I use okay. when I start. Okay. Bob, oh, no. Joe, grinder? Yeah. Yeah, this is grinder. <laughs> More power tools over here. This is what I use. And there's bits, all kinds of bits that we use. Uh, big ones, show them big ones. And we go to smaller ones. And then dental bits. I use uh, power tools when I'm making mostly bones. Mm -hmm. And we use um, axe and chipping hammer. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, file like these ones too. There's lots of these, like this one or this one, and even this axe. After this, we go to sandpaper. All kinds of sandpaper. It's messy in there. So you guys have this studio here. Um, I understand you go collect the bones yourself off of beaches in the north. Um, where do you go for that? Um, we go to Rankin or Alphabet, Cape Dorset, and bought one to Pawnee They're not that very heavy. Oh. You can even lift this one up. <laughs> oh, it's not heavy. <laughs> Maybe I'm just strong. <laughs> Maybe. So that's a vertebrae? Yeah. From the back? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you also do throat singing. Mm-hmm. Do you want to try? And I'll try. <laughs> Can you try? <laughs> and then you just keep on going like, <laughs> just use your, um... yeah, keep on going. <laughs> you can make it louder too. Okay. <laughs> you did it really good. <laughs> I think it's the camera, it's 
<laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I think I've been doing this about 10 years uh, with Guta and the boys, but about five years prior to that, since I've come up here. So both of you make a living off of your art. Yeah, it's really nice. It's, a, it's, it's rare that a husband and wife team of artists sit side by side six or seven days a week and uh, both enjoy what they're doing and making a lot of fun and making money and, uh, and, and having a few laughs. Uh, on occasion. Guta comes from uh, the most successful, one of the most successful Inuit art families in Canadian history. They've been making art since the 1950s. They got a couple orders of Canada, a couple of Aboriginal Achievement Awards. They've been on the postage stamps in the last half century. Uh, maybe about 50 people in the family have been professional artists. Uh, Guta's third generation, Joe is fourth generation. This is a project that both Guta and I are going to be doing. This was a whale's rib and it's now going to be an umiak, a, a large Inuit boat that was paddled by the ladies. So. I'm going to help get the boat ready, and Guta's going to help cut the figures, and there's going to be all these people in the boat oh. uh, paddling and doing stuff with a big sail and stuff. Guta's granny did a lot of drawings of people in uh, these Umiaks, and Guta's grandmother was born in one of these Umiak journeys in Hudson's Bay at the, uh, in about 1903. A piece of whalebone, this is a, a, a rib end. It's a man with a child in his arm, and he's got two in the back, <coughs> and uh, we have to inlay some, I have to inlay some, some ivory or some bone eyes and do some stone uh, pupils, and then it'll stand upright like that. A uh, piece of a off a skull is turned into a mask. A couple of shattered shoulder blades have turned into uh, two sea creatures uh, feeding on seaweed. This was a, this was a knuckle bone. It is now a, a, an Inuit demon troll. Tornak pulling out his tooth, he's got a toothache. A small section of a rib, uh, a man with a big fish being chased by a hungry fox. We do all these things, and you find interesting things. Um, Ushuk, walrus penis bones from baby walruses found on the beach. You don't see these every day. How much? <laughs>